Hello, everybody. My lovely bathroom door. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? My name is Kara Allen. I am a makeup artist and wardrobe stylist. I help you unclutter your closet and style your authentic life. But today, I'm going to be putting my makeup hat on and going to be showing you how to do highlighting and contouring. Hi, Evie. How are you? How's everybody today on this lovely Sunday, chilly afternoon? <laughs> I'm so not ready for this weather. Like, it's ridiculous. It was cold today. So cold. I was not having it. <laughs> it's not my thing. I'm great. How are you? Great to see everyone. I was just eating a little lunch. Hopefully, I don't have any food in my teeth. <laughs> anyway, hey, hey, how's everybody doing? Great crowd we have today. Yay. So, I wanted to, I'm in Virginia. I wanted to talk to you today about highlighting and contouring because it's something that most women are curious about, but probably a little, not scared, but a little like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do that because I don't know how it's going to look. <laughs> right? I mean, that's cool. Hey, Lily. Mm, no, we're not doing that. I know that. How about that? Not this kind of show. <laughs> so we will block the trolls. How about that? So don't be getting, coming in here trolling because you're going to get blocked. Anywho. All right. So you can see I already have some makeup on, so I'm just going to use a makeup wipe and take some of this out. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, and it's not black, but thanks for that. So I'm gonna just use a makeup wipe to take some of this off, well, take all of it off so that you can have a better idea of how I started with. Hey from Chicago, how are you? Hey Raquel, what's up? <laughs> oh my God, Lord have mercy. Hey Addison, how are you? So I'm gonna start with a pretty, oh God. You know, most trolls can say anything. When they start talking about body parts, I'm not okay with that. Like, get out of here. <laughs> We're not okay with that. Hello from Las Vegas. Okay, so basically I'm starting with a fresh face. And I'm going to show you a cool little diagram. If you want to email me later. You know, I did an eyebrow tutorial, but I can do another one and I'll put it on my website. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but it ain't good. Okay, so no, I'm not, I don't have a problem and I'm not a, you know, bye. Anyway, we're not having that conversation. So this is the actual official thing for highlighting and contouring. This shows you where you need to highlight and contour on your face. Thank you. So where you see the light areas, that's the highlighting. Where you see the darker areas, that's the contouring. It's to do, um, make, your face have more whoop, more definition sorry I clicked off of it so yeah it's to give your face more definition and so there we go so that's what I'm gonna tell you or show you so I just took all my makeup off no problem and I love most of my products majority of the products here are gonna be used from Mac because I'm a Mac girl I am 43 and one of the things I do love is charged water because it gives your face some moisture. And I just kind of spray it on my hand. <laughs> is it working for me? We'll see. Well, I appreciate that. And this just gives my face a little bit of moisture after I just wiped all that makeup off. I left my brows on though because I don't want her to do that again. <laughs> so, okay. So we're going to let it dry. Woo! Okay. And then the first thing that I'm going to put on my face is this really cool new product we have from MAC. It's called Time Check Lotion. You can't really see the label because it's kind of weird. I do have children. So I'm going to use my flat brush from MAC. Put a little bit on here. Just a little. You don't need a whole lot. Just to give me a nice layer between my face, my skin rather, and my make and my foundation. I have a nice little pimple on that side. <laughs> Can't really cover that up. It's just there. 
So when you're putting any type of product, yes, 72, um, you want to kind of push it, put it down because your pores grow down. And thanks for the hearts, peeps. I know that lets me know that you're still there and that you are picking down what I'm putting up. <laughs> picking up what I'm putting down rather <laughs> okay anyways there we go thank you so much and they're a rainbow plethora today yay okay so then I'm gonna put a little bit of my <clears throat> um, concealer on because I have really dark shadows the the stuff I put on just now it is time check lotion by Mac time check and I know it's hard to see because the label is white and so does the um, I applied 10k I applied to be on um, so it's time check no problem so I just put a little thin just so my found it my skin's evened out there I have to do a check in my own little mirror here the phone works but it doesn't get as close <laughs> no you can't but thanks for the offer. Not an entertaining guest today. Okay. And then the um, foundation that I use is also a mineralized product. <laughs> yeah. It's actually pretty good today. I, I mean, it's a good crowd. I'm appreciating it. The Broad Spectrum Moisture Foundation. It's really good. It gives you, if you, my skin's not dry, it's sort of normal combo, but um, this gives you a really nice matte finish. Makes your doesn't, it's not too much coverage. And you see as I put it on, it blends in. Thank you for sharing, I appreciate you. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> It is Moisture Foundation Broad Spectrum Mineralized MAC. I need to be, um, hey, Melissa, what's up, girl? Doing a little highlighting and contouring today. Yeah, right, all right. <laughs> now, the thing is, with my skin, I already have a little bit of natural built-in, uh, thanks, um, contouring in my skin. So I don't usually use it too much because it just doesn't make sense for me. But I'm just showing you how to do it. So then I use my, do I ever use a Bluity Blender? No, I haven't. Um, I have tons of brushes. I've been a makeup artist for nine years. So I'm just gonna seal in my foundation with a little bit of mineralized powder here. And then I'll show you how we do the highlighting and the contouring. This is a loose foundation. You should totally do it. Where do you live, Lily? And I don't usually put much foundation, or, or really at all. I put a little powder on my forehead because my forehead, oh, you're in UK. No, I'm not Dominican. Um, because my forehead is a little darker than the rest of my face because that's where the sun hits. <laughs> so you don't normally need to put a lot or if any really foundation up there because it already has a good amount of color. Okay, so using this diagram that I just showed you with the highlighting and the contouring, I'm going to do the contouring first. So I'm going to add a little bit of color here on the side of my cheeks and then right above. So you want to find where your like bones are in your face. That's where you want to apply the contour. And because my forehead, my hairline is pretty off of my forehead, I can do the more contouring. But if you have a, if you have a hairline that kind of comes onto your forehead, you don't really need to do as much contouring up here, especially. So just to show you. So the dark areas are where we're going to put the contour. So the contouring, I'm going to use two different ones so you can see the difference. So this one is called Sculpt. So you can see it's not that dark. But where, let's see. I'm gonna put one on one side and one on the other so you can see the difference. So you just use a little bit of the brush and you tap off any extra that you get. <laughs> yes, it is Beyonce. So you can see how it added a little extra line there. Bye bye sex. <laughs> no sex here. 
I am not a cosmetologist. I am a makeup artist in Virginia. You don't need to have a cosmetology license to be a makeup artist. Okay, and what you want to remember about this is you don't want to put this past where your eyebrow ends, right? So that would be here. So I don't want to put past there because then it starts looking a little weird. <laughs> okay, and then we can put a little right here. What degree? You don't. It depends on what state you're in or what, what the laws and where you live are. Um, you could probably Google it. So then we, you know, I don't really need it so much around here, but this is where you would put it if you were going to put it. And then you can do a little on the side of your nose to make your nose look a little thinner. The bridge of my nose is already pretty straight and thin, so I don't necessarily need it, but I'm just going to do it just so you can see. See how it does, it has a little bit of definition there on the side of my nose. Right? Okay. So now that's a lighter kind of one. <clears throat> it is 20 till two here. So you can see here how it's a little bit more defined. That's what you would do. You'd put it on the side of your nose on this side. I'm going to use a different color on here so you can see what the difference is. So and then I'm going to use espresso on the other side so you can see if you want to do a deeper contour. See that's a lot darker. I didn't, wouldn't necessarily want to go that dark. Yeah, so you want to put it here on the side. You can see that here. Right? Okay. And then you can put it a little up here if you want to. For me, it doesn't make that much of a difference because I'm pretty narrow in here, so it's not like <laughs> I don't really need that. But again, I'm just showing you so you know what to do. So, and then the secret to all of this is blending, right? You can see how the picture looks very similar to where I put it. Just a little bit on the nose. So then the highlighting is going to be like on top of those areas, right? So I'm going to use another brush. And then this one is called, I forget, lighter saber or something like that. So you want to take the light color and put it on top of where I put that. So see how it kind of lightened that area up? And then you want to put it a little up here. And then here, you can put it right up underneath the eye. And of course we're going to blend all this in before we <laughs> walk around looking a little nuts. Like, you don't want to walk out like just like that. So you want to put the highlight up on the side. I do. I do prefer the powder because it's easier to, if you make, if you put too much, it's easier to take it off versus the cream. You got to wipe everything off if you go too heavy. So then I'm just going to take my plain, you know, brush that doesn't have any color on it and kind of blend all that in. See how that is? It's better now. It's not like, look at that contour on her face. <laughs> and you don't have to use like highlighting powder. You can use like a, um, like this, like a skin finish. I could use this on top too. Yeah, it's true. And you could, I could use, this has a little bit of orange. It's almost like more of a bronzer. But you can do it however you like. Whatever works better for you. This gives you a little bit more of a bronzy kind of glow with the orange. So you just have to know what your skin tone is and how to go not too dark with this stuff because like I said, once it gets on, <laughs> and I already have a natural one anyway, so it's not like I really need it per se. My little bump is exaggerating a little. I have this little pimple right on the side of my face, so that's all you see. <laughs> but see how it gives me a nice little glow here. And then I can also use a little bit of the highlight on, um, like, my chin here. Because uh, this is where, like, 
Yes. With, so if you have a paler complexion or a fairer complexion, you don't want to go too dark. Like, you wouldn't use this color. You would use something more light brown or, yeah, or peachy almost because it's going to show up on you like, bam, like somebody hit you upside your head and that is not what you want. That is not what you want. So, yeah, I can do a little bit more. So this is like really... What you're doing when you're highlighting is like hitting all the areas where a, the sun would naturally give you, give you, yeah, woo, about to knock that off, um, would give you a little bit of sun kissness. That's where you would put it. I don't really care for it on my nose. You can do it like right here, right down the middle. And you see how it does give me a little bit of boom. But my nose. Oh, you're like a Santa color. Okay, so then you would just do a, maybe a light brown, nothing or a peachy. But I don't really care for it on my nose because my nose tent here tends to be the oily T zone. Um, use a product like this, this time check lotion. This will help reduce your pores. Or there's another one I have. It's called the Skin. Let me grab it. Sorry, I just bought a bunch of stuff today. I was at Mac this morning. <laughs> so Skin Refined treatment zone this helps minimize pores as well so if you just want like a spot treatment this one would reduce them overall because you want to put it over your whole face thanks so much for the hearts I appreciate it um, but this one will give you like spot treatment and you could just take a little bit take one of these like little fluffy brushes the 224s to put a little on there and just spot treat where your pores are having any issues right um, I mean, you can use creams, but I prefer the powders just because it makes life easier, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, you don't have to do so much work if you put too much on and you need to get... Hey, how are you, girl? I finally did get your package, so we'll have to talk on my scope about that. <laughs> no problem. Anybody else have any questions about this? So you can kind of see the difference, right? And you can see how I have like a nice little healthy glow, especially around my forehead. See, I probably would put more highlighter on my forehead than color because like any of this contouring stuff because my forehead is pretty good color <laughs> already. I don't need to add a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But the biggest thing when you're remembering is that you want your face to look, are all the products matte or have shimmer? Um, this, this is totally matte, totally matte. And so same with the um, the foundation and the uh, the only thing that has some shimmer in it was this skin finish. Even the um, the two that I used, I always have to use my scissors. It's, these are magnets, but they are in here. So this one is what I use as a highlighting powder. It's called Light Sweep. Light Sweep. It has no, if you can see, it has no shimmer. There's no shimmer in here at all. It is totally matte. Because that's the point of the contouring. It's not supposed to necessarily be shimmer. It's supposed to... I appreciate that. Thank you, Ultraviolet. What's your name, by the way? It's supposed to give you definition. So shimmer is not necessarily going to give you sh definition when you're trying to contour. And the other one is called Sculpt. Oh, bye, Barbara. Thanks for popping in. Um, brushes. So I use MAC. But then there's also Sonia Kashuk brushes that are at Target. And they're like half the price of the tar of um, of the Mac brushes. Your name is Maritza. Okay, yay. You have a vein close to the surface under your eye. Okay, so you probably need a good concealer or even like a good concealer pencil. We have these new ones. Why well, I say we, we because I feel like I'm part of the Mac family. But um, Studio Chronographic. You really want to get one of these. They help you. You can see, just fill in any little areas. And then you blend them in. Because I tend to get a little crepey, not crepey, but my skin's changing now that I'm getting older. <laughs> oh no. And then you just blend it in with your brush. Put a little powder over top of it. Um, <clears throat> you would probably use the NW15 but it's called the Studio Chronographic Pencil. Yeah. These are fantastic. I just found out about these. I'm like, where have they been all my life? 
a girl it is once you just practice like the biggest thing about makeup is it's just makeup it's not plastic surgery literally if it doesn't work you wipe it off yes you can totally use it for spot concealing now see for my little bump there it's not going to do anything because that bump is raised i hope you can see that i don't know how blurry it is <laughs> Did you get it? I didn't see the camera. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? No problem. Um, you want to... No, I didn't do brows today. I did brows the last time I was on. But I can do brows again in the future. For sure. I can do it on my own channel. If you're following me, follow me at Kara Allen. K-A-R-A-A-L-L-A-N. My name is in the title of this scope. You can follow me on my own pro, um, my own Periscope channel. And I do makeup offline. I mean, makeup on there as well. <laughs> but on Sundays, 1.30, I'm here. I do makeup um, for Parachute channel. I'm a style, war I mean, a wardrobe stylist as well. So I do um, style tips too. So, um... I forgot what I was saying about the whole thing. <laughs> Did anybody remember what we were talking about before I started showing her that pencil? <laughs> Woo! My brain goes weird. Oh, yeah, just for makeup in general. If you don't like it, you wipe it off. It's not plastic surgery. It's not permanent. It's, you know, that's what makeup wipes are for. Hello. <laughs> you know, and I would always recommend when you're applying makeup, whether it's eye or foundation or anything, apply it with a light touch first. Oh, it... Maybe, I don't know if they have catch, but I can always put it up on my um, YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, put it on with a light touch because it's always easier to add. Most of the foundations and all the colors and everything are buildable. So you can add a little, if you don't like it, you can add a little more versus putting on a whole dollop of something and then you can't, you can't try to get it off. Hey, Hillary, how are you? I do, this one is, is considered like a primer, this, um time check lotion it's considered a primer because it's like a moisturizer and a primer together it's really good it's mattifying it lays down any oil you have and it gives you a great protection between for your skin between the makeup because say if you have dry skin your skin is going to try to suck up that moisture from anything it's going to try to take it through your makeup so if you don't have something that's gonna give it moisture, like when I used the charged water before I started, I gave my skin some, like I gave it water <laughs> before it started. And then I put this on too, so it gave me a little boundary between that and my makeup so that as I go through the day, it's gonna stay. Like two is good, but not like big pumps, you know? Again, less is more. You only need, it's, this stuff works very well. You only need a little bit. So just do one or two pumps. No, these are only at MAC. This particular product is just um, MAC. Maybe they have their own versions, Ulta or Sephora does, but MAC is not sold at Sephora or Ulta. It's it's sold at the MAC stores. It's sold at Macy's counters, Nordstrom's counter. And I think that's it. I can't remember if they're at Bloomingdale's. I mean, Bloomingdale's too. Yeah, they are at Bloomingdale's. So yeah. But yeah, you want to have a primer because it gives your skin something to kind of talk to as it were it's kind of a nice little relationship between that and your foundation because it gives your skin some moisture to yeah it, that they do have it at me you know i don't know if they have that particular this one this is brand new i haven't been at a macy's counter so what you need to know about mac is if you go to a counter say macy's nordstrom's or um, bloomingdale's those counters only carry 50 percent of the mac line if you go to a regular mac store they carry 75 percent of the line and yes, it is my favorite brand. <laughs> and I used to work for them, I was a freelancer. And uh, the pro stores, which are usually in like Vegas, Miami, New York, have 100% of the line. And usually that last 25% of the line is stuff that everyday people wouldn't necessarily be using. They do carry out, okay, Mac Studio Fix is cool too. Um, I don't use, I use it for the powder just for my nose because it gives me, it sucks up all that oil that I tend, my nose gets shiny. Hey, Nat Nat. And um, anyway, so the to last 25% of that line that's usually at the pro store is not anything that, like I said, regular people would need. It's like really specific stuff for 
Hey, it's specific stuff for, um, I'm pretty sure Vegas has one. I know New York for sure. I know Miami because I've been to both of those. We used to have one here in D.C., but we don't have it anymore. Um, but I'm pretty sure Vegas would have one. And L.A., I know, would have one too. It's like major stores. But you can look it up online. They should be able to tell you which ones have pro stores. But again, you probably don't even need what's at the pro store. The regular Mac store, which carries 70% of the line, is going to be good enough for what you, your purposes are. Mac used to be a very production-oriented line, like for theater and movies, makeup, all that movie, movie makeup. But they kind of commercialized it a bit for regular people. It's a very popular line, and it's reasonably priced, considering like if you look at some of the other lines, much more. And you get it's a good product. <laughs> yeah, I was just in the Miami store. It's on um, Lincoln Drive, so they moved it. Hey. They moved it from, um, oh, God, Collins. They moved it. Yeah, exactly. It's half the price of Chanel. And I think it's better, honestly. I mean, they're getting really good with their skin. Normally, they weren't a um, skincare line, but they're giving, they're getting into the skincare line now. Hey, how are you? That's good. Yeah, I was just there over the weekend. And so, they, like I said, they moved it from Collins Avenue over to Lincoln Avenue. So, definitely check it out. If you guys have any more questions, you can find me at, at Kara Allen everywhere. That's A-L-L-A-N, not E-N. No, I don't, I didn't know that it was sold on QVC or HSN. That's news to me. I don't know that I would buy it there. <laughs> I mean, if you're a makeup artist, you get 40% off with the Mac card. So consider that. You just apply. It's $35 a year to have the card. And it's well worth it. So, um... Yeah, if you have any other questions, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and of course on Periscope at Kara Allen, A K A R A A L L A N. That's two A's, two L's, one N, no E. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you guys don't have any other questions, I'm going to pop off here. Let's see what time it is. 157. And if you want that, um, no problem. If you want this, I actually think I pinned it on my Pinterest this um you'll pay me for the concealer um you want this diagram you can find it on my pinterest under be glamorous because it's a great diagram to help you show where you would need to do the highlighter and the concealer and you could also give it a screenshot if you like i would have to see a picture of that to even know what to recommend um, for you, Diane. Um, my Pinterest is Kara Allen, K-A-R-A-A-L-L-A-N, and the board it's on is called Be Glamorous. It's my makeup board that I pin really good looks and things to, yeah. Because I know highlighting and contouring can be scary. <laughs> oh, did somebody need another picture? Sorry. Okay, cool. Send me a pic. Okay, you guys have been a great audience. Thanks for your interest, your hearts, your shares, and all of your questions. I appreciate you, and I'll be back here next Sunday. Is there anything else you want to do? I know somebody asked about eyebrows, but is there any other makeup tutorials that you would enjoy seeing, whether it's eyeshadow or lipstick or foundations, bronzers, blushes? <laughs> I'm not gonna laugh, please. I've seen it all, trust me. Woo. Foundation, shadow, and tips. Okay. Shadow and lips, sorry. Lashes. Oh, yeah, I could do lashes too. I haven't done that yet. Foundation, lashes. Okay. Yeah, the last of my individual extensions are falling off I'm so happy because they're so hard to maintain oh my god <laughs> I recommend just doing strips if you want to glam up your eyes a little bit because man these are so hard to maintain and it's just a lot I'm not that into maintaining things like that so yeah okay so I will see you guys here again 1 30 next Sunday and I may do some makeup tutorials on my own Periscope page some or Periscope 
channel. So make sure you follow me at Kara Allen, K-A-R-A-A-L-L-A-N. My name is in the title of this scope. So you can just jump, once I hop off, you can just click on that and it'll, you'll be able to follow me from there. Thanks for joining. Have a great afternoon. Ciao.